Hemorrhoids is very prevalent and common condition. It affects around 50% of population after age 50. It means risk of hemorrhoids dramatically increase with age. Hemorrhoids typically affects around 5% of general population. But there is social stigma about hemorrhoids, that's why in many cases people are shy to talking about it. Now let's say what is hemorrhoids itself. Hemorrhoids are dilated blood vessels or dilated veins inside rectum or outside rectum. This is inside rectum and it is called internal hemorrhoids. This is outside rectum and it is called external hemorrhoids. So we have two types of hemorrhoids which is inside rectum or inside anus and outside anus. Uh, if we want to imagine what is hemorrhoids more clearly, we can remind what is varicose veins on legs. I think everyone seen and everyone knows what is varicose, varicose veins on the leg. You can see this is dilated veins under the skin and uh, here is um, dilated veins of esophagus esophagus varices and hemorrhoids is similar condition here is also dilated blood vessels dilated veins which can be inside rectum or outside rectum so we have these two types we can visualize it here also it's internal internal hemorrhoids and external hemorrhoids which is outside rectum and what is characteristics of internal hemorrhoids? Internal hemorrhoids always within rectum, always start within rectum, but they can protrude from uh, anus, it's possible, but they start within rectum. They are not palpable, usually they are not palpable by hand, but they can bleed and irritate, especially during bowel movement and now let's say external hemorrhoids external hemorrhoids are under the skin around the anus so they they are palpable by hand person can feel if person palpable around anus he or she can feel hemorrhoids they can cause discomfort and itching especially during sitting for example and they also can bleed. This is two types of hemorrhoids, internal and external. What is risk factors for hemorrhoids? Risk factors is age. Most common age diagnosis of hemorrhoids is 45 to 65, but it can occur in early ages also. Uh, it affects equally both genders. Um, and risk factors are prolonged sitting, heavy lifting, if, if person lifts um, heavy objects, activity that strains the veins uh, in the rectal area. Uh, such, such activity is, for example, heavy lifting. Chronic constipation or diarrhea, obesity or pregnancy. And hallmark of the disease very common characteristic of the disease is bleeding and person notice bleeding blood spots usually on toilet paper that's hallmark of this disease in case of internal hemorrhoids we have four stage it also called prolapse prolapse means when hemorrhoid extending or protruding from the anus. You can see how hemorrhoids is protruding from anus. It means it moves from inside to outside anus and person can see it or person can feel it with, with his hands and fingers. That's prolapse. We can visualize it better and prolapse has its stages so first stage is when there is bleeding 
but no prolapse. This is um, this is hemorrhoid inside rectum. It can bleed, but no prolapse. It does not move. Second stage is bleeding, and it moves outside, but temporary. Only during training, it can move outside, but it it, it will be corrected soon automatically so no need any intervention uh, no need any intervention uh, it occurs only during training and it retracts itself that's second stage third stage is when uh, when there is prolapse when these hemorrhoids move outside and person should manually retract it, should manually correct it, should manually push inside to correct this prolapse. That's third stage. And fourth stage. Fourth stage is when there is prolapse, when hemorrhoids move outside anus and it's impossible to manually correct. That's fourth stage. Uh, now let's say what is mechanism and what is explanation of hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids is enlargement or dilation veins around the anus um, or in the rectum. And um, what helps developing it? Uh, when surrounding tissues such as muscles and um, connective tissue around, uh, around these blood vessels are uh, weakened then dilation happens this is mechanism diagnosis is proctoscopy is gold standard of diagnosis also of course medical history is important physical examination is important but proctoscopy is gold standard and first you should rule out other causes of bleeding such as polyps or cancer these two should be excluded. And what is management? We have conservative management and surgical uh, management. Um, usually first line treatment is dietary changes including increased dietary fibers, increased vegetables. Um, also hydrocortisone creams and aloe vera creams and uh, aloe vera has anti-inflammatory action and there is other uh, over-the-counter creams also which person can buy uh, hydrocortisone is considered most important and this is effective in both cases external and internal hemorrhoids also second line treatment includes rubber band ligation, sclerotherapy, and um, infrared co coagulation. These methods are effective, uh, around 70 to 80 percent effectiveness they have. So they, these methods are effective, but most cases of hemorrhoids are managed by conservatively and no need uh, band ligation or sclerotherapy or infrared coagulation and third line treatment in extreme cases surgery is needed um, usually prognosis is good and usually most cases person manage uh, hemorrhoids with conservative treatment like dietary uh, dietary fibers intaking and increase in taking of dietary fibers and hydrocortisone creams that's all i wanted to say i tried to be simple and everything explained well if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now